All right, guys, I'm going to set up outside here. It's another nice day today. And I'm going to set up my chameleon F loop with the Zygu X108G on digital on Whisper to see what I can hear or copy. I just ran it in the house. I just finished wiring up the cable and ran it in the house and I was able to be heard into Germany. So, figured I might as well set up my chameleon F loop outside. And again, when you buy chameleon guys, you're buying a quality product. I can't say it enough. Um, Julian at Survival Tech Nord just did a fantastic comparison against some of the chameleon gear and some copycat stuff and you know to every review there's pros and cons and he was very fair in pointing out those such pros and cons so I'm putting the loop on here. I'm going to set up for 20 meters. And I am going to favor this uh, north and south. But what I one thing I should have done was the map inside. I should have cleared it. That's all right. Right. So assembling the loop, and I am going to favor it uh, east and west. Okay. South is directly behind me, but since I'm seeing some European stuff inside, I'm going to favor this. Careful with my cables. Stand here. Brought up my fantastic P box. Powerhouse what that is. Maximum noise here as well. Nine five six. So we'll tune the antenna for twenty meters. Thank you. 
Alright, there's some of the signals. Hook this up. Of course, it's gonna take away the noise. So I can tune, see where I'm at. The glasses are too dark out here. Because I had this on all right so let's see get the tune still gotta figure out some of my cabling here I think I have a loose wire in here yet. It is not the easiest thing to wire up. So I'm just going to see if it will go into transmit mode here. Running three and a half watts out. Three watts. I'll leave it at three watts. No, I'll go three and a half. So if you can see the uh, display here. <laughs> this is the OLED display. It's fairly easy to see. You can at least still see it outside. Not. So I should hook up the receive cable. As well. So now the receive cable is in place. 59 seconds here until it transmits. Again, a look at the chameleon F loop. All right, once it goes in transmit mode, I'll get back. All right, so we're transmitting now. I'm transmitting three and a half watts out. I have an SWR of about 1.3 on the loop. All right, see myself in that display. And we are transmitting. So we're going to go in the house and see who's listening and who can hear us. And we'll let this transmit. Alright guys, it's been uh, almost uh, 20 minutes now. Things have been transmitting and it's picking me up all over the united states from the east coast to the west coast again i am favoring east and west here with my antenna uh, with the chameleon f loop um, i do have an swr of about 1.3 to 1 running the p-box battery system here with the um, zygu x108g so just waiting for this thing to go back in the transmit here it's coming down I'll let it run for maybe an hour outside here on 20 meters and then maybe I'll set it up on 30 meters uh, or maybe I'll just let it go a half hour here on 30 switch over to third or yeah for a half hour and then we'll switch over to 30 meters and see how we're picked up on 30.
Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I just dipped the meter or dipped the antenna with my U kits meter here. I'm down to about a 1.3, same thing, 1.3, 1.5, a little lower actually, here at 10, 138.7. Uh, so I'm going to set the antenna back up and start transmitting on 30 meters as of 2050 Zulu. So this is going into countdown mode now and it should transmit yeah, volumes all the way up in about 20 seconds it should go into transmit mode at three and a half watts out into the loop and I'm still pointing east west I'm favoring east and west So there we are. We're transmitting at 10, 138.7 right now. All right, so 10, 138.7. We'll go in the house and see what this first sequence brings us. All right, guys, it's uh, 5.30, still transmitting on uh, 30 meters right now on 10.138.7, three and a half watts out into the chameleon F loop. Gonna let it go for another 20 minutes, so that'll be one hour transmitting, and then I will switch over. A little chipmunk there. Switch. Uh, actually, I'll tear it down. Now I'm gonna switch over. I'm gonna tear it down and uh, just do up a quick video here of what I did today. Uh, again, I did wire up my Wolfie Link. TNC 6 pin mini DIN to an RJ45 connector. Uh, these 6 pin mini DINs are not the easiest of things to solder. Uh, very flimsy, a uh, little bit of heat, they want to melt the plastic. So, a little bit of work, hopefully, it stays together. Can't use a lot of solder. And then the connector in the back for the audio going to my uh, tablet here. So, there we are. We just stopped transmitting here right now. And we've got another three minutes here before we get going. So, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap up our testing here now. And uh, we've been operating on 40 meters for the last uh, half hour. So we're going to shut things down here. Just want to give you one more quick look here. we got a fire going in the background, so if you see smoke, that's why. But I got this Igu X108G running 3.5 watts, a Samsung tablet, T box battery. I brought my U kits uh, antenna tuner out to tune the antenna, which is the Chameleon F loop. Once again, well built antenna. And uh, the Wolfie Link TNC that I'm currently running with this just because that was my option or choice I had. So, just again, you know, a quick look here at the F loop. So thanks for watching guys and uh, we know that it does digital next I'll have to play with um, some PSK here on here and see what we can do take it portable maybe out in the field and then go from there. So thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you guys all later. Uh, ciao. Have a E3FAL.
Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter North Doors saying uh, so long guys.